Software engineering is that branch of engineering where a software will be developed using well tested, well proved engineering principles, procedures and the respective methods. So, that is the software engineering. So, let us discuss that how this software engineering has been defined by different persons and organizations. So, if we consider Fridge Bauer, then he has defined the software engineering in this particular format. That is software engineering is the establishment and use of sound engineering principles, methods, tools that can be used to produce high quality software that is reliable and works efficiently on real machines. So, the software should be reliable, should be meeting with the respective users requirement and should run on the real machines. IEEE they have declared and they have defined this software engineering in this way. The application of a systematic, disciplined, quantifiable approach to the development, operation and maintenance of software that is the application of engineering to the software. That means, they have given emphasis more on the development process, there is the operations to be implemented, the maintenance of the software during the upgradation of the software to execute some change request as requested by the client. So, all those things must be done on this respective software product and this software developed software and that is why this IEEE they have given more emphasis on this operations and maintenance of software and that is the application of engineering to the software. Let us understand what software engineering stands for and here we are having two terminologies one is the software and the one is the engineering. So, let us discuss them one by one. So, what is the software? A software is more than just a program code. A program is an executable code which serves some computational purpose. We know that whenever we write any program in some specific language, then obviously it is having some purpose and at the end the program should be executed through the executable version of the program. A software is considered to be collection of executable such programming codes, libraries and then associated libraries and then documentation and remark and documentations and so on. So, what is the software product? So, software is nothing but whenever a particular software is executing that means it is taking help of multiple executable codes, the respective libraries and the documentation. Software when it is made for a specific requirement will be known as a software product. So, whenever a particular software will be developed for a certain purpose only then it will be known as a software product. So, now let us consider the four phases and we are having transformation 1, 2 and 3 and to show you that what are the software development process transformations. So, at first user needs and expectations are to be gathered. So, all the user needs their respective requirements, expectations are to be listed and then transformation 1 which is having a name known as analysis where the problem statement will be will be developed. Then in the transformation 2 that is known as the design phase in this case this from the problem statement will be going for the detailed design. In the transformation number 3 that is the implementation phase where this particular software designed this particular format will be implemented as a software product. So, these are the different phases with the help of which the transformations will take place. Now, let us discuss engineering. We, in the previous slide we discussed software, now we will be discussing engineering. Engineering on the other hand is all about developing the products using well defined scientific principles and methods and procedures. So, that is known as the engineering. So, let us go for the summary. So, software engineering is an engineering branch associated with the development of software product using well defined scientific principles, methods and procedures. The outcome of software engineering is an efficient and reliable software product. So, in this way we have defined what is a software engineering and we have given you one overview of the software engineering topic. Thanks for watching this video. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.